Hey there guys, what's up? Sean here, bringing you some one in the chamber and today we're going to be talking tactics. And the first thing I'm going to do is look at the spawn points relevant to mine. Pretty much all I mean by that are the ones nearby. Playing any game mode it's important that you learn the spawns and one in the chamber is no different. When you spawn in, there is six, point, uh, six spawn points and they never ever change. So knowing a rush or two from each spawn point is a huge advantage. So what you can see here is the two spawn points closest to mine. And with the maps being so small, it's very easy to get a couple of kills very quickly just by knowing the spawns. I'm about to play the video again. In a wee second you'll see the, the rush that I take and afterwards I'll discuss why I do it and certain scenarios that you might encounter. Now, let's take that back a bit. I always rush up this way because you're very likely to see someone rushing that spawn. If you don't see them here, you're likely to see them uh, where I killed the first guy or they'll be rushing cluelessly towards the centre of the map. Now, what you see here is a couple of possibilities that this player might take from that particular spawn point. If he's a smart player, he'll take the red line and he'll rush the spawn with the cross. The circle indicates where he might stand and wait, which is also a smart option. The blue and green lines are the routes that a your typical casual player might take and they're, they're pretty much clueless. The blue line is a problem for you though, because when you take that shot, if he's quick enough, he's able to flank you, so watch out for that. Now, what you see on screen is the route I would take and what what you saw in the video isn't the only route. There are a couple of variations because things never go as planned, do they? So the first part is very simple. Rush up, tell about the X, you take your shot, which you saw in the video, and then I rush around here, which I've already discussed. You might catch a player up between those barrels or canisters or tanks, whatever you want to call them. But if you don't, then what usually happens is, is, oh, sorry, getting a wee bit too far ahead of myself here. The black line just shows the, the route I would take if you see someone rushing that way. But if the player marked with a arrow doesn't rush this way, usually what happens is this. The red line indicates where the player marked with the arrow usually runs. So if there's been no indication of the player rushing the spawn where we took the first shot, you're looking to take this route, the black arrow, in between the canisters, tanks, whatever you want to call them. You'll quite often find your opponent here, where the black arrow is. If not, I'd most likely rush down that way anyhow, because there's two more spawn points, but I won't be discussing that in this video. Now, this is very important. When you make your this rush, it's important that you watch that spawn point. When you come out between those two canisters, I don't know, bunny hop round the corner and have a, have a quick look because a lot of players, sorry Xbox, but especially on the Xbox, like to camp. So just make sure you have a, a quick look. On the PC, it's a lot easier to bunny hop, so I encourage you guys to start bunny hopping. Now, on to the next clip. We're back to the, the normal video. But I thought I would add this in because A, I think this guy's play is very clever and B, because it did make me lol. Now, what's happening here is this guy has rushed round from this spawn point and he's taking his shot at me but of course he's missed so he's without a bullet. But what he does is very clever. He goes up the, up the ramp and tries to flank me but as you're about to see it doesn't end too well for him. <laughs> yeah, epic failure. Oh well, happens to the best of us. The gameplay from here on out is kind of self-explanatory. I just apply the, the basics, which is trying not to camp and pretty much rush your ass off, try and get those kills. Because you're 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 not going to make a profit in the long run, can't let a little girl. Down. 
You'll see here, I come across someone and if you watch the, tar the start of the video, you'll know that that's a spawn point, so my guess is this guy is AFK, but I, I would never ever risk trying to knife someone at that distance. You know, it could just be taking a sip of his drink or whatever, but just, just take the shot, try and avoid marginal situations like that. Oh, and this guy gets sound hoard. He really does. This guy actually reviewed it in theatre. He had uh, no bullet and he was rushing. I don't know how to describe it. I'll put it in theatre where he was. There you go. A nice, pretty picture. Anyhow, back to the gameplay. In here, I totally mind fuck the last guy. I make him think that I'm out of I'm, uh, I'm out of a bullet, even when I'm not. You can do that simply by maybe if you've got two bullets, shooting and then continue running, or not shooting and kind of lining up your shot, anything like that. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. That is my 12 and 2 on radiation. Lots of tips and tricks there for you. So hope you have learned something. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.